One of the challenges in switching from carburation to EFI is going from an engine-mounted mechanical low-pressure fuel pump to a high-pressure electric fuel pump. Now one option is to go with an electric inline fuel pump like this. But modern factory EFI cars generally mount their fuel pump inside the fuel tank. That lets it run quieter and it lets it run cooler. Classic muscle cars with mechanical fuel pumps generally don't have very big access holes in the fuel tank. It only has to be big enough for the fuel pickup and the level sender. That can be a challenge when you're going to a high pressure EFI in tank pump. You know, one option is to go with a custom tank, but that can set you back a thousand bucks. Now, if you're not ready for that kind of a financial commitment, but you still want to convert to an in tank EFI pump, there's a great new option. That's FAST's new universal in tank fuel pump retrofit kit. The kit contains everything you need to convert to an in tank pump. The included pump is a high pressure unit that puts out 50 gallons per hour at 80 psi. The kit also includes all the fittings needed for the pump, the fuel pickup filter, the fuel hose, electrical wire and connectors for the fuel pump, and airtight seals for the electrical wires. Now for the easy EFI system we had on this car, we did have an inline fuel pump, but we decided that we wanted to switch over to fast retrofit kit and put the pump in the tank. Instead of paying a premium for a custom tank, we decided to modify our standard stock tank for access using this kit. We decided to mount the fuel pump to the pickup tube using the included hose clamps. Now you have to make sure that this doesn't interfere with the float on the sender, so make sure the float arm has full unobstructed movement. We connected the fuel hose from the pump to a fuel fitting that we mounted on the face of the tank and attached a second fitting on the tank for the fuel return line. Next on the list was connecting the electrical plug to the pump and then running them through the included adapter which gets mounted to the fuel tank. The adapter is insulated and seals the wire so the fuel won't escape. The only other connection needed is a fuel return line to the tank, unless your EFI is set up for a returnless system. All these parts are included in the retrofit kit. We inserted the stock sender back into the tank and attached the new in-tank pump and filter to the pickup tube. That attached the fuel line to the fitting from inside the tank. From there, we used a fuel-safe sealer and mounted the access cover using half-inch nut certs to seal off the access area on top of the tank. Now some people are going to find it easier to buy instead of build, but if you have a little bit of time and a little bit of skill to build an access panel like we did, you can save yourself a ton of money. Either route you go, custom tank or retrofitting your stock tank, this kit is going to provide you with a fuel pump that runs quieter and cooler and has a longer lifespan. For more information about this retrofit kit, and for all of FAST's fuel products, visit FuelAirSpark.com on the web.